Welcome to this edition of The Main Issue, Wallace State Student News for the Fall 2019 semester. My name's Harrison Wright. And I'm Brooke Norris. We hope everyone had a great Labor Day holiday. We'll be taking a look at events, news, and what's happening on campus this week. If you're taking science courses this semester and are interested in developing better study skills, check out the Science Study Skills Seminar. Get tips, tricks, and ideas to help you succeed in your science courses. Sessions will be held on September 4th and 5th in the School of Nursing Center for Science Building Computer Lab 221. Three times are available each day, 8 a.m., 10.30 a.m., and 2.30 p.m. To register, send an email to Daniel Young at daniel.young at wallacestate.edu and include the date and time you would like to attend. Don't forget to join us with the Common Read. This year's Common Read section is Big Fish by Daniel Wallace. Do you need to get some exercise after a stressful day? Why not join the Wallace State Running Club at 4.30 p.m. every Monday and Wednesday at the Wellness Center. All runners, joggers, and walkers are welcome. Remember, this club is open to all Wallace State students, faculty, and staff. Trivia Tuesday starts back on September 3rd at 11 a.m. Come by and test your trivia knowledge in the student center. On September 18th, there will be a financial forum from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the Bailey Center Auditorium. Stop by and get some information on saving and managing your money. Campus Ministries is having a fall retreat on September 13th and 14th. Contact our campus minister, Christy Hicks, at 256-338-4468 for more information. If you need more information on any of the upcoming Student Life events, contact Don Stevenson at 256-352-8209. The Edlund Borough Museum is a screening partner in South Arts 2019-2020 Southern Circuit Tour of Independent Filmmakers, sponsoring free screenings of six films starting this month on September 17th. The filmmakers will attend the screenings and be available for a discussion after each event. Wall Estate is one of only two venues in Alabama included on the tour. The first film in the series is It's Time. It's by Ole Miss Rebel defensive back Chucky Mullins. It will be held in the Borough Center Recital Hall on September 17th, beginning at 6 p.m. Check out the trailer link in the description below. The Wallace State Future Foundation has scholarships remaining for the Women's Fund of Greater Alabama. These scholarships are for single mothers from Blount County enrolled in the STEM program, such as welding, megatronics, engineering, technology, computer, science, those interested should contact Christy Barnett as soon as possible at christy.barnett at wallacestate.edu or 256-352-8231. Wallace State is looking for four new AmeriCorps visitors. There are openings in Coleman County Garden slash Small Farm Trainings Alumni Foundation Support and Career Readiness. Those are one-year full-time service opportunities. They are a chance to serve the community, build a year of work experience, and reward a small living stipend and a $5,000 scholarship that can be applied towards further education or student loans. Contact Christy Barnett at 256-352-8231 or christy.barnett at wallacestate.edu. Wallace State Community College's Department of Nursing Education has announced a joint enrollment agreement with the University of Alabama at Birmingham UAB that will allow Wallace State students a seamless pathway from an associate degree to a bachelor's degree in nursing. For more information, please visit the link in the description. The Edmund Bureau Museum at Wallace State Community College in Hansville announces a new exhibition on loan from Troy University Alabama Art Inside Out, which will be on display in the museum's main gallery through September 30th. Alabama Art Inside Out originated as an artistic endeavor by the internationally acclaimed artist Noss to reveal the world of the work and fellow Alabama artists who embodied the spirit of style of his home state. Noss saw these artists as important, courageous, and ambitious, from art made of found materials to stories told through photography and history, immortalized in the threads that bind a quilt. Noss' portrait series and collection reveal both beauty and hardship. Here are some important dates to remember for fall 2019. Fall classes in December 16th, fall 2019. Flex term 1, August 19th through October 7th. Tuition refund checks begin mailing August 30th. Fall graduation applications are due by September 4th. The last date of withdrawal is November 18th. Fall 2019 flex term 2 courses begin on October 9th and then on December 16th. 
come out and support the Lady Lions volleyball team this Sunday as they take on a pair of conference foes in Wallace Selma and Southern Union. Games start at 2 p.m. in the Tom Drake Coliseum. Are you interested in forensic psychology? The intro course, Introduction to Forensic Psychology, CRJ slash PSY222, offered online this fall. Check the fall semester schedule or speak to our advisors for more details. A number of new programs have been added to Wallace State, giving students more options for their education. Here are a few new exciting programs you may want to look into. An ADN to BSN program with UAB starting spring 2020. Application has been extended to September 30th. Advising sessions are from September 23rd. An Associate's General Studies transfer in forensic psychology, cardiovascular, sonography, new options in diagnostic medical sonography. June 1st deadline to apply. Dance. Geospatial technology, global studies, medical laboratory assistance, new options in medical laboratory technicians. Openings available for fall 2019. If you are a Wallace State student, be sure to check out these great student resources offered. Free tutoring is offered to all Wallace State students through our tutoring lab. Get help with math, English, science, computer science, writing, and many more. The tutoring lab is located in the Bailey Center on the eighth floor. Hours are Monday through Thursday, eight to six, on Fridays, eight to two. Find out more by visiting the link in the description below. If you need an emergency supply of groceries, please visit the Lions Kitchen on the third floor of the Bailey Center. Contact John Stevenson in the Office of Student Engagement at 256-352-8209 or john.stevenson at wallstate.edu or the Wall State Police Department for access. Wall State offers success coaching for all students. Success coaches meet regularly with students and can provide help with structure tools and motivations to get the most out of your education. To schedule a time with the career coach, please visit wallstate.edu slash success coaching. The Veterans Corner is available to student veterans who need a place to study, congregate, or unwind. It's located on the sixth floor of the Wallace State Library. And do you need help achieving a career readiness? Visit Wallace State Career Services in the Bailey Center, room 903. The career services can help you develop employment, soft skills, coordinated apprenticeships, internships, or co-ops. They can assist with job placement, resumes, building, career opportunities, and help you in securing employment. Stop by or call at 256-352-8461. Are you interested in joining our new staff this semester? Please email communications at wallstate.edu. If you have any news you think we need to cover, please let us know. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next edition of the main issue Wallace State Student News on Monday, September 9th, 2019. And now it's our joke of the week. People say I'm outstanding in my field, but hey, what can I say, it's in my genes. <laughs> If you would like to be featured in our Joke of the Week video, email communications at wallacestate.edu. Thank you for watching the Main Issue Student News.